What's going on YouTube? This is Long Liver bringing you a knife review today. Uh, I actually thought I had shot a review of this knife and then looked on my channel and realized that it was either not uploaded and then lost or I had never done it at all. So I thought I would do this knife. I've actually had this knife for a little over a year, maybe even longer than that. Um, and there's some likes and some dislikes and uh, the dislikes really actually prevent me from carrying this knife. I do not carry it anymore, but it is still a, a pretty nice knife. So this is the Spyderco Bird. As you can see, there we go. Maybe in focus, maybe not. There we go. Um, of course, it's made by Spyderco. It's in their Bird series, and this is the Spyderco Bird Flight. Uh, MSRP from Spyderco is 41 bucks. I think I got this one for like 27 on uh, eBay. Overall length is a little less than 8 inches. It's 7.8 inches. Uh, the blade length is about 3.5 inches. And uh, when it's closed, it's about 4.6 inches or so. Weighs in at 5.5 ounces, so it's not a very heavy knife. It's a pretty, pretty good weight, but it's solid, but it's not too heavy. And it's, it's okay. Um, some things I like about it, it's got a very sharp tip, almost a Tonto tip, kind of a, a profile. Uh, it's very pointy, is very sharp right out of the box, keeps a good edge. Um, it's got a very strong release to where it will not close. Uh, just squeezing it, you really have to put some oomph into it. It's got the lanyard hole. And of course, like all spider codes, or at least the ones I've seen, has to where you can reverse the clip. Um, some things that I do not like about this knife, I live in Iowa. During the winter time, this knife will get about the temperature of the air, and sometimes that is freezing. Uh, if you ever grab this knife when it's been sitting outside, it'll almost give you frostbite on your hands. And if they're wet, I actually have welded this knife to my skin before. Um, having my hands wet touching the knife because it is stainless steel. Um, along with that, it holds very nicely. Um, it's a little bit too thin for my hands. Um, it's not as comfortable as I'd wish. These seem to be very sharp, the edges. Um, if you go like this, it is very sharp, uh, almost to the point to where I'd actually be worried about sliding my finger too fast. It might get cut. Um, but otherwise, the, uh, the knuckle grips here are very ergonomic, very nice. Um, but the biggest detractor of this knife is this uh, pocket clip. And I actually had to bend this clip back yesterday. As you can tell, I've kind of marred up the finish a little bit. Um, you can see where I've been grabbing it with a wrench. Uh, this clip is very, very weak. Um, as you can tell, I mean, I'm barely putting any weight and it comes almost half an inch away from the knife. If you catch this clip on anything, it will rip the clip right off. Um, I was getting out of the car, it got caught on the seat belt and almost broke the clip off yesterday. I was carrying it around just so I could do the review and uh, almost broke the clip just carrying it for that one day. This clip is terrible. Um, and from my other knife videos, you know, the first thing that usually fails on one of my knives is the stupid clip, the pocket clip. And so it's a big detractor. I, that's the only reason I really don't carry this knife. That and the fact that I would not carry it in winter because it's all metal and it gets freezing. Um, like all Spyderco Bird Series knives, it's got this nice large cutout that kind of looks like a bird beak. Um, that's very nice for opening it one-handed, very easy to do. And otherwise, it's an okay knife. Um, besides the clip problem and the fact that it's all metal and I live in a cold climate during some uh, months of the year, it's an okay knife. Um, if you don't, if you're as hard as on uh, pocket clips as I am, this is, probably isn't for you. If you want to take the pocket clip off, maybe replace it with something that's stronger or even just carry it as just a free floater in your pocket. This is a great knife, uh, especially if you live in Florida. But even then, if you leave it out, you're going to burn your hand because it'll take up the temperature of whatever where it's at. So some good, some bad. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it. But it's a it's an okay knife. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out my other videos. And everybody, have a great day.